What's up fam? Good day, good day. It is time for another Q&A. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. As you guys know, I am recovering from really, really, really crazy surgery that I had. I say crazy, it's not like that crazy, it's just like, it's a lot of cutting and healing and stuff. So I am recovering if you're seeing this video. Hopefully I'm recovering. I hope that's what I'm doing. If you want current updates about that, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at JessFam. You'll find me there. I am, of course, vlogging the whole entire thing. Um, you guys will see that posted probably in the next few days or so. I'm not really exactly sure. It depends on how I'm feeling. This is a pre-recorded video, though. So last week I asked on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions. This always seems to be a hit. And I'll tell you what, all the questions that I get asked on Instagram are always very interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give a forewarning. At this time, I haven't looked at the questions yet. I'm open to answering pretty much anything. So you might wanna keep that in mind when you're letting your little ones watch this. This tends to be more of an adult time, so. There's your warning. So I'm just going to jump right into this. Let's get started. Dang, y'all guys are raunchy. I swear, like half of these questions are about the deed. But here I am, an open book, let's talk. So we're gonna open this up with a question from Abby May, 2006. She says, how is the, insert emoji here, life since you guys have had Addy? Um, I, we answered this in another video at some point, um, but it's great, and that's all I have to say about it. A lot of people think that like the more kids you have, the harder it is to have a sex life. I haven't found that to be an issue. Obviously, I keep having more, right? The last person I texted, let me see, I'm gonna go. The last person I texted was 1.39 p.m. I texted, I texted my friend Rosalyn. She's got a YouTube channel, Family at Heart. That is the last person that I texted today. Do Tommy and Kaden have other siblings? other than your kids. They do, they actually have a sister on their mom's side. Um, she's like super cute, she looks, I think she looks a lot like Kaden. That's the only sibling that they have on that side. Have the kids ever walked in on you? And if so, what did you say or do? Um, honestly, I really don't think they have. Um, definitely not in a way that we were like, oh my God, like they might've walked in on some like pre, like we were laying down kind of thing, but like for the most part, no, like not, not really. We're really good at locking doors and finding good times to do it. Who curses more, you or Chris? <sighs> we're about equal. I think he'd agree too. Like on YouTube, minus when you see like some of these videos, all of my content is very family friendly. I'm very mom Jess, um, but on my Instagram, like on my stories and stuff, I, I kind of tend to not be so much. And so people are always really, <laughs> they get a kick out of um, what I say, some of the things that come out of my mouth on my Instagram stories. I'm like, do you have a better relationship now with Chris's ex-wife or is it about the same? I'd say it's about the same. No progress really in that area. Which of your kids listens the most? Lilia, definitely. What attracted you to your husband? Okay, this is a really weird answer. I feel like I might have said this before. His hands. He has really nice hands. And for some reason, that was one of the first things that I noticed. Actually, okay, I have three answers. His eyes were like, obviously, like right when I made eye contact with him, I was like, oh, dreamy. Like, sounds so cheesy. Also, his lips. I love like lips. Like he has some lips on him. Ooh, I love those. And then uh, his hands. I don't know, something about his hands are just sexy. Do I have a lucky number? I feel like I wanna say it's seven only because I was born on March 7th and ever since then I've been attached to that number, but isn't that like everybody's lucky number? So I can't really say. Are you closer to your dad than your papa? So if you guys don't know, my dad, um, who I call my dad is actually my stepdad and then my biological dad I actually call Papa. I've always called him that. Um, I guess he preferred to be called that when I was a kid. I don't really know. Growing up, I was closer to my dad though. But the relationship that I have with each of them is just not really comparable. I feel like it's very different. Do you think your surgery will make your sex life better? Honestly, we have a really good sex life so I don't see how it can really get better. I guess maybe in a sense that like uh, maybe I'll feel sexier because my boobs will be like happy again. But honestly, I don't, I'm not not confident. Like a lot of people get surgery like this to like feel confident about themselves. I don't have a confidence issue at all. Like I will flaunt my stuff. I don't even care. I feel great about it. For me, it was a physical thing to actually physically feel better, like health wise. And then I get I threw in the boobs in there too. So I guess it could. Um, but my main concern though, this is like so TMI, but like I'm really afraid of losing feeling in places because when you, a lot of people, when they get like their boobs done and stuff, they lose feeling like in their nipples and that worries me. So I don't know to be continued maybe. What are you going to do about your stomach tattoo after surgery? I have not decided. I would prefer to get it removed, but I don't know how effective that is. And I'm super pale. I don't know if that has an effect on it one way or another. Hi Mowgli, did you wanna join? No, do you scratch up my chair, boy? Ooh, no, 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 what you do? He's my scratcher. Sadie doesn't scratch any of our furniture and Mowgli always does. You're a turd, did you know that? 
Okay, go away. <laughs> I wasn't making out with Mowgli, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Do you think the surgery will make our sex life better? I don't think it's gonna change one bit. That's what I said too. <laughs> we had the same answer. <laughs> no, like seriously, like why would it change? I know. I think ours is pretty great. This is an interesting question. What is the your favorite sponsor that you've worked with? Oh. <sighs> There's different answers because there's, I have really genuinely liked a lot of the sponsorships that I've done. Um, most of the things that I have tried, I used at least for a long time or I still do use now. I do not like to promote a product that I think is actually in real life. I just don't. Granted, I have worked with sponsors in the past that I learned more things about afterwards and then I decided to no longer use them. I'd say my favorite sponsor that I've worked with, oh man, that is a tough one. My favorite product that I've worked with, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this stuff. I still use that toothbrush that I did a sponsorship for, oh gosh, like a year ago at least. I still use that every day. I love that toothbrush. Great, great product. I really like working with Clorox um, only because I actually use those like every single day and so it's cool when they send me like a list of talking points and things to say in my videos. It's like, oh, like, I don't know. It's just so cool because I already use those products. I do have a couple of sponsors that I have hated working with. I'm not going to say who they are because I don't think I'm like allowed to, but their products weren't necessarily bad. It was just like the company itself was hard to deal with. So I don't, I don't know, man. What were your thoughts about plastic surgery before you had diabetes? diastasis. I never saw myself doing it. When it came to plastic surgery specifically, there was never anything that I like didn't like about my body that I knew I was going to change in the long run. Like I never thought like, oh, I really want a boob job one day. I never thought about that stuff. It wasn't until I had this problem that I researched it more and that it even became an option for me. Do you have any scars? Only on my heart. I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't think I have any scars actually. Like I might have like something, actually I think a cat scratched me right here. I don't think you can see it. I'm, I'm about to though. Actually when you see this video, I have lots of scars. Do Lilia and Alina get along as well as you and Janelle? Um, they have like a sister relationship. They get along for the most part, but they actually do fight quite a bit. Their personalities just don't click as much as I feel like maybe some of their other friends' personalities do. They both consider themselves best friends. They get along great for the most part, but they, they have like little sister fights for sure. Probably because they're around each other so often. Where was your original vacation spot? So many people are asking this and I want to answer it, but I still want to go. And so I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just going to say it was another tropical place and it was on the other side of where we went. And I think that like, I think anybody can pretty much guess where it might be. I won't give specifics, but it was out of the country in a very tropical place. Can I just say it like that? It wasn't Mexico though. So many people thought it was Mexico and it was not Mexico. Do you get along with your in-laws? There's actually quite a bit of questions on here about Chris's mom. Um, if you guys don't know, Chris's dad passed away a little over two years ago. When we lost him, Chris hasn't talked about this at all. And I did just talk to him a minute ago asking if it was okay if I could say a little bit about it because I have so many people wondering what happened to Chris's mom. Um, we don't have a relationship with her anymore. I'm not gonna go into it, um, but some just some stuff happened and he chose to just break ties with her. And so we no longer have a relationship with her and he's an only child so his family is very limited he has a really good relationship with his grandma so that's really good other than that he doesn't have too much family and he has no local family at all how has Sadie adjusted to having another cat in the house Sadie thinks she runs the house and she has not liked Mowgli since he entered it and they still don't get along <laughs> really um, they'll play sometimes but I feel like for the most part it's like out of an anger deep down that she has with herself or some emotional issues I don't know they've been getting along better but they still clash a lot they don't love each other that's for sure I had a few people asking this too and I really don't mind answering this like I don't know a lot of people try to be like private when it comes to like finances and stuff and for some reason I just like I don't know I don't have a lot of privacy in my life I don't mind answering a lot of questions when it comes to money a lot of people are asking how much did the surgery cost I want to say this with a grain of salt because it depends on where you are it depends on what exactly you want done. It depends on who you go to. Like everything just depends. It depends on what you're starting with. So I don't wanna like put a number out there and people just expect that that's what they will have to pay or anything like that. But I will tell you the total cost for my surgery was about 17,000 and that's including all hospital fees, doctor fees, everything like that. How often do you and Chris actually get intimate time? If I'm being honest, not every day, but like at least every other day. Do you plan on going to play this live this year? I do not plan on going this year. I would love to go again in the future, but this year there was too much other stuff in my own life going on. Um, and that was before the surgery was even planned. Like now it's even more of a no, but Lilia has a dance competition that weekend or a competition recital. And it's this year it's moved. Last year it was in April. This year it's in March. March is the single busiest time of year. March and October for us are always crazy. And this year it's like the day before Landon's birthday or on Landon's birthday or something. So it just wasn't gonna work out this year. Why are you such a skink.
is mean. <laughs> I've never actually like got a mean comment on here. I really don't think I am though. Like, am I though? Like, I, yeah, I have like three baby daddies, but like I was married to two of them and one of them I had a very long-term relationship with. Like, yeah, it's not ideal, but like I left one because he was cheating on me. Was I supposed to stay with him and not live my life after? I never understood how people could think I was a whore. My numbers are low. <laughs> Let me know, I'm genuinely curious. Do you think I'm a skank? Yes or no? <laughs> if your body was still able to handle pregnancy, would you have had more kids? I genuinely feel like I would have. Crazy, probably, but I just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. If you had to choose between Cancun and Hawaii, what would you choose and why? I would choose Hawaii because I felt like I could do more. Some people consider Mexico to be like a scary place. I didn't really find it scary, um, but for me, I was able to enjoy Hawaii and not have to worry about like going, staying inside of a resort or anything like that. Um, I also feel like where I went in Cancun, the waters were clear in Hawaii. That being said, the snorkeling in Hawaii wasn't as good as Cancun, but I feel like that was just the excursion that I happened to book. So I, I honestly, Paradise and paradise. They're both great. <laughs> do you have favorites? Don't lie. I do have favorites and they change every day And I'm not just saying that like I have favorites I'm not afraid to say that I, I have favorite kids But I promise you that they all every single day I have a different favorite and all of my kids will be a favorite at one point So it just changes it depends on the day Are you ever up for a trip to New York My uncle lives in New York and I definitely plan on taking the kids there like yeah absolutely 100% I will be there one day will you be vlogging while recovering definitely I just don't know how soon that video is gonna be up, but I'm gonna try to stick to my schedule as much as I can and I will definitely be vlogging all the recovery um, whether when it's gonna be up I'm not too sure but I it's it'll be recorded are your children vaccinated if you followed me for a while you have probably seen my stance change on this subject um, my children are all fully vaccinated all of them except Lilia have been vaccinated on delayed schedules though so Lilia I just like took them when they were supposed to and I like listened to everything the doctor said the doctor said after that I did more research what's your favorite alcoholic beverage strawberry daiquiris or or uh, Gallo Pink Moscato. I s only because my best friend drinks that and that's like all I have to drink sometimes. <laughs> How do you have time to get it on if Addie sleeps in your bed? Girl, there are so many places you can get it on. It doesn't have to be just in a bed. What do you and Chris argue or bicker about the most? Um, uh, cleaning. I think that's my number one. Which kid is the loudest? Landon. Final answer. Did you always want to have a lot of kids? Yep. I don't know about like this many, like I always saw myself having four, but I definitely never thought that I would have less than four. I always wanted more than that. What size boobs are you getting? That's a good question. I, I told my doctor when I met with him, I do not want big boobs. I want nice boobs. So I want them to be maybe even just like a tiny, tiny bit bigger than what I have right now. I just want them to be happy. That's all. Just like a basic C, not even necessarily like a full C, just like a C. Are you getting the surgery done to be more confident? I touched on this earlier. I don't have a confidence issue, so that's not personally what I'm doing it for. Um, but I know it does help a lot of people um, with confidence in their body, but I would go to the beach in a bikini wearing like looking how I do now. Um, for me, it was like a physical pain that I had that I'm hoping it's going to fix. But I guess the boobs you could say, like maybe I'll be more confident with those but I don't really mind what I have right now did Chris ever try your breast milk not purposely how would you react if any of your children came out as LGBT I have no problems with that honestly it's like not even a, a stressor to me um, I would accept them for whoever they grew up to be whether they were gay or if they ended up being trans or whatever like that's not an issue to me at all who is the hardest child to raise I'm gonna have to go with Kyson love him to death but he's very emotional and he reacts on emotions and it's been a struggle to deal with he's the biggest heart and he is the most sensitive of all of them which has its ups and downs but he's definitely been the one that we are constantly trying to figure out the right way to parent I think that about wraps us up. This is a, probably a, a nice decently long video I always love doing these Q&A's start thinking about some questions that you would like to ask me in the future Whenever we decide to do this again, make sure you go follow me on Instagram again If you are not already, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys tomorrow in our next video. Bye